Hello, dear WordPress community. Today we will talk about the best WordPress Survey Maker plugin. The Survey Maker plugin is one of the most trusted survey plugins among the WordPress users. So let's get started with the Survey Maker plugin and see what options this plugin offers us. So first of all, install and activate the Survey Maker plugin. After activating the Survey Maker plugin, this is how our dashboard will look like. Uh, as you can see, for creating a new survey, we'll need just to click on the Add New button, and that is. So now we are creating our survey together. Uh, as you can see, the Survey Maker plugin has many tabs which are responsible for many advanced settings. Here we can see that we have a question library, survey templates, and import questions sections. That is, the Survey Maker plugin offers us ready made four templates so we can uh, choose one and start with it. So now let's write our question and choose one question type. For example, let it be start rating so that our uh, survey takers can rate us. For adding another question, we'll just need to click on the add question button and that is. Also, we can create a section by clicking on the add section button so the questions will be separated in two sections. So now let's move to the Stats tab and see what options are included there. As you can see here, we can choose the theme of our survey. The Survey Maker plugin offers three uh, templates. Uh, besides choosing the theme, we can also choose the survey color, background color, change the survey width both in pixels and in percentage, uh, add survey logo, and many other options. Also, we can change the question styles and the answer styles. The start page uh, tab here is responsible for creating a start page for our survey. So we can configure our survey start page by just adding the title and description. Also here we can, uh, but do not forget to enable the start page and uh, customize it in your desired way. Now let's move to the settings tab. The advanced settings are included here. We can choose any option that are uh, required for our survey by just ticking on it. For example, we can schedule our survey at start date, end date, and etc. Also, uh, here we can see that the Survey Maker plugin also has the terms and conditions options, that is, you can activate it as well on your survey besides using the reCAPTCHA integration. The Results Settings tab is responsible for the results of the survey. There are various options included here as well. For example, you can write the thank you message. So after finishing the survey, the survey takers will receive that message. Also, you can add show social media button, uh, choose the sur survey loader icon, etc. But the most interesting tab here is the conditional results. That is, you can add conditions for your survey and based on the answers, the survey takers will get the specific result. How to use it? First of all, you will need to choose the question and after it, you will need to add the um, conditions for them and that is. You can send the result via result message or you can choose the email field, that is, you can send the results via email or redirect them after uh, the submission. Now we are moving to the limitations tab. Here we can add several limitations to your survey and make it private or make it available only for a few group of people. For example, you can choose maximum number of attempts per user or limit it by country or give access to only logged in users. Email settings tab is also an interesting point here. So you can send email to your users 
and let them know uh, about the results of their survey or also send summary to admin to users just by clicking on the set new button on the integration tab we can see that the survey maker has many integrations with several applications such as MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, ReCAPTCHA, Google Sheet, etc. so that you will be able to collect your the data or the results of your service in one of these integrations. But these tabs are not the only things that the survey maker offers us. Here we can create survey categories, add pop-up survey which works with the pop-up box plugin uh, so that you can insert your survey into pop-up and display it on your website. Also, you can see the submissions of your survey takers. You can see the global statistic, but unfortunately, if uh, as we don't have any submissions yet, we will not be able to see it. But let's choose one of these surveys and see uh, the individual uh, statistics of it. Here we can see the graphs, uh, the answers, etc. Now let's move to the export and import field. As you may guess, uh, this field will allow us to not only export but also import our service in JSON file format. Just click on the survey and export to JSON file format and that is. For importing, we will just need to click on the choose file, add file and import. That is. Now we are moving to the general settings tab. So as we may see, uh, the settings are not uh, only in the settings tab. The general tab allows us to create anonymous surveys for, by just clicking on the uh, appropriate uh, options. Uh, also, for activating the integrations, we'll need to go to the integrations tab, add the appropriate API keys or uh, passwords for activating the integrations, go to the message variables for copying the uh, chosen message variable and paste it in thank you messages, result messages, etc. And finally, the shortcodes tab. Here are several shortcodes that will help us to add additional settings to our survey, see our uh, survey taker submissions, user history settings, etc. So for more advanced settings, do not forget to visit the general settings tab. By visiting the survey maker's uh, official website, we can see that there are Various um, demos are demonstrated here, which will show us that uh, we can create any kind of survey we wish, for example, uh, customer satisfaction survey, diet plan. So that's all about this survey maker plugin. The final say is with you, but be sure to make the right decision before getting your survey plugin.